Picking the right products to add to your shop is absolutely critical when it comes to making sales. It's like choosing which players to add to the lineup. And as the coach, you've got to know the player's stats. That is, you've got to do your research. Is the product viable? Is it profitable? And ultimately, is it what your customers want or need? Leah here, reporting live from the studio, where we're going to take an inside look at what it takes for a product to make the cut. All right. You're the best athletes this place has seen in a long time. You know who our fans are. You know what they're expecting from us out on that field. You know what they came for. When choosing products, you've really got to know your target audience and their spending habits. People are willing to spend more money on products that appeal specifically to their interests. So ask yourself, are they into a hobby? Do they share a similar profession? Do they have the same values or desires? And when it comes to their spending habits, younger generations might not have as much money in the bank, but they're definitely more likely to spend money online than older generations. Let's take Gen Z as an example. They value things like their health and wellness. They value technology and electronic goods, and they would rather support a small business. So based on this information, let's see what would make sense from our Printify catalog. We know that Gen Z also is very eco-conscious. They value saving the planet. And if we click on the catalog tab, we can see our featured products here and some basic categories. We can find the eco-friendly category here because this would make sense. And we can get a quick overview of everything that's kind of environmentally friendly. Things like t-shirts, hoodies, canvases. We have candles, phone cases. We know Gen Z also values their health and wellness. Health can be physical health, that could be mental health. Let's say we go the physical health route. Maybe we want to find sportswear or sports products. Sportswear, we can see all the apparel that's available, or we can get a little bit more specific with our search. So we can type in sport simply into our search bar, and this will bring up everything that's related to sports, not just apparel. We can see we've got some swimwear here, we've got sports bras, t-shirts, tank tops. But if we keep scrolling a little bit, we've got things like water bottles. We see zip ups. We see shoes and sneakers. If we move into the next pages, we've got things like leggings, hats, and then even some equipment, ping pong balls, golf balls, etc. Let's say we go the mental health route. Products like journals and notebooks could be good for this, for example. Here, if we click on the catalog tab, we can see journals and notebooks right here. We can browse different things like spiral notebooks, note cubes, journals. These are all really good for that niche. I know for my mental health, I love lighting a good candle. I have hundreds of candles. People say my room is a fire hazard. But we notice in the catalog tab here, we didn't see specifically candles. Let's see if we can find it just by searching. In the search bar, we'll just type in candle. And we've already got some options here. And they're mostly eco-friendly, so we're kind of hitting two birds with one stone. We've got eco-friendly candle options for Gen Z. Once you have a good understanding of who your customers are and what they want, try testing some of these items in your shop. Look, you know the rules, you know the plays. And if you don't, go study the playbook. Our catalog is your ultimate playbook. You've got to know every single detail. So in our catalog, we have a lot of different options for filtering out our products to see where they're coming from or who's making them or what they're made from. Right away in the catalog tab, we can actually see this category here assembled in the USA. And so we know this is really important for a lot of merchants. And in this category, we've got all sorts of products. We've got tote bags, we've got apparel, stickers, pins, and so forth. But this isn't the only place that we can find the location. If we click on a product, and let's do t-shirts as an example. On the left-hand side here, we'll actually see a lot of different filter options. You can filter by color, you can filter by size, print area. But if we scroll down a little bit more, you'll see a category fulfillment locations. So right away, you can choose where you want your product coming from. Let's say we want a t-shirt that comes from Canada. Now our products have been filtered and we see that there are four t-shirts offered by a Canadian fulfillment location. We can also filter further if we prefer a specific brand. So if we scroll down a little bit, 
you'll see that we have brands like American Apparel, Bell & Canvas, Champion, Fruit of Loom, and more. For some people, it's also really important what the product is made of. Again, if we go to our catalog tab, we can go to the eco-friendly section for more organic or eco-friendly products. If we want to know more specifically what a product is made of, we can click on it and go to the product details page. Here on the right hand side, we can actually see exactly what this product is made of. This t-shirt is made of 100% organic combed ring spun cotton. And if we want to see even more, we can either scroll down or simply click read more and this will break it down in detail what this 100% organic combed cotton means. This fabric is warm, flexible, stretchy, and insulating. So we have more details here. And of course, when you're browsing the catalog, you're probably gonna look at the price first things first. So right away, when you go into a category, you can see all the prices just to get a general idea of what you have to work with. So here we can see both the price for non-premium subscriptions, as well as the price if you have a Printify premium subscription. With a subscription, you can save up to 20% on products. If we wanna look even further into a product price, we can simply click on the product, go to the product details page, and if we scroll down a little bit, we'll see all the print options. If we choose a print provider that we might be interested in, we can click on more details, and here we can see the breakdown of the prices both by size and by color. So here we can see that a small, it ranges from $9.97 to $12.51. And if we click on it, we can also see that each color variant might slightly vary. Let's look at a 3XL, for example. Now our price range is from $14.46 to $16.93. Again, each color variant will be slightly different in price. And one more thing that we definitely want to consider when we're choosing a product is our print provider. So on the product details page, if we scroll underneath the product picture, we can see all the print providers that offer this particular product. Let's scroll down here a little bit and take a look. So let's say, let's look at underground threads. Right here, we can see the location. Of course, we can see the price and the shipping price, the average production time, where they print. Some print providers print on both the front and the back side. Some might print on the sleeves as well. So take a look at print areas. And then of course you can see all the sizes they offer and the colors. You'll notice a little star and number right here next to the print provider name. This is our print provider score. This here shows their performance over the last four weeks. So these are always changing. This takes in factors like quality, production speed, and stock reliability, so how often an item is in or out of stock. Really get to know the ins and outs of our catalog so you have the best understanding of the products that you're selling. Look, you gotta get there first, okay? Don't let them get there before you, right? We're not here to be one and done. We're here to go all the way to the championships. Finding trends early can really give you a head start and establish you as a leader as you'll be building up that SEO and get more organic traffic. Research the outlook of the product and the product category. Is it going to be a fad or a trend? Let's take a look at an example together. Spotting the difference between a fad and a trend can be kind of tricky, but let's take a look at a couple examples. So fads are something that come up really fast and they leave just as fast. Think things like pet rocks and fidget spinners. We've typed in fidget spinner here into Google Trends and we're actually going to look from this whole time, 2004 to present. And here we see a huge spike in, in 2017, right? This is clearly a fad. It came really fast and it left. Now, trends on the other hand, let's take a look at wall decor as an example. Wall decor is a really good example of a trend as it's slowly growing and building over time. If we scroll down just a little bit here, we'll see related queries. And so these are other related things that people are looking for. This is a good place to look as well. So here we see room decor ideas, canvas wall decor, gold wall decor. If we click on one, let's choose canvas wall decor as our example. So here, this is also trending. We see that it's kind of slow, slow growing, but it's growing in an upward trend. Seasonal products can also be a hit, but remember they're seasonal. So this might mean inconsistent cash flow. 
Let's look at an example of what a seasonal product might be and how it looks in Google Trends. Swimwear. Obviously, we're gonna buy swimwear when it's warmer outside, right? Here we see every April, May, June, it's kind of really popular. And then in the winter months, people aren't buying it. If we look at hoodies as another example, we see hoodies kind of have the opposite trend here, right? They're really popular in the winter months. In the summer months, people aren't really buying and sitting in a hoodie. And looking for trends on social media is also a really good place. Places like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all the social medias, Twitter. So I'm gonna show an example on TikTok. So I'm gonna look for trending products. And if we scroll over, we see the top things, we see videos, users. We're gonna move to hashtags here and trending products. We can see that there are over 100 million hashtags just for this hashtag. Scroll through, see what there is. There's gonna be probably a lot of crap there, but you might find some golden nuggets. You can also browse categories like trending or most popular items, bestsellers in marketplaces like Etsy, Amazon, eBay. So let's take a look at what that might look like. On Etsy, we can simply type in etsy.com slash trends. And right now we can see Etsy's first ever colors of the year, indigo and honeycomb. So we see trending colors. We can also see products that might be popular as well. So we can also type in amazon.com and look for most wished for. But let's continue with our kind of wall decor home stuff. We can choose home and kitchen. And so the most wished for in this category, we see some tumblers. Looks like we have some bedding, some pillows, blankets. If we go back, we also see other categories like best sellers. So these are things that people are already buying a lot of. We see new releases. And in these categories, we can also break it down into um, subcategories. So we can go into the home and kitchen and see what's happening there again. Now this category, movers and shakers. I actually like this category. It's kind of fun. Movers and shakers are products that come and go really fast. So they're fads, but these are products that sold a lot within the past 24 hours. Just kind of fun to look at. Maybe you'll find something there. And if we want to look at eBay as an example, right on eBay's homepage, the first thing we see is explore popular categories. Right away, we kind of have an idea that sneakers, beauty, wristwatches, smartphones, those kinds of things are popular. If we click on it, we'll be taken to the product details. Okay, so we can break this down even further. We have tech, we have fashion, home, and more. So we'll go to the home just to stick with the theme. Let's say kitchen, dining, and bar. We do see some water bottles. We see some food insulators here, tumblers. So these are things that are trending. So now that we have an idea from our marketplaces, from social media, let's go into Printify and see what we can offer. So if we click on the catalog tab right here, on the left-hand side, we'll see things like featured products. We also have bestsellers. We have holiday picks. We have new arrivals, eco-friendly, all sorts of categories there. Say we wanna go with the wall decor trend. We saw that was growing really well. In our subcategories, it'll probably be under home and living. Then even more, we see mugs, canvases, home decor. We don't have anything specifically that says wall. So let's go to our search function and see what we can find. Right away, we see, okay, wallets, that's not wall decor, but we can scroll down a little bit. We have wall clocks, wall decals, wall tapestries. I love tapestries. They just, one tapestry and your whole wall is decorated. Calendars. We have these really cool acrylic panels that's broken down into three. Here we go. The acrylic prints, it's, you can put one picture on it, break it down into three. It's really modern, kind of tasteful wall decor. We saw that canvas wall decor was also really trending. So we can either type canvases into our search function in our catalog tab underneath home and living. We see canvas right here. We can click on that and we'll see all the canvas options available. If you think you've spotted a trend early, you won't lose out by experimenting. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. You've been working really hard. All right, you've been studying the playbook, you've been analyzing every single film, all right? You know every move off by heart, and that's why people from all over are gonna come and watch you play, all right? That other team, they don't stand a chance. Figuring out product demand based on existing keywords is a really effective way to get organic traffic, but it does require a bit more technical knowledge. The idea here is to figure out what people are searching for, 
how often they're searching for it, and what the competition is like. We've already seen that Google is a good place to start, but it's not the only place. There are some paid platforms that are really good for keyword research. These platforms do require a bit more technical knowledge, but I'll mention them anyway. So Ahrefs is a really good place to look. SEMrush is another place, as well as Google Keyword Planner. Bear in mind that these are a little bit more geared towards ad campaigns, things like that, but they're still good places if um, you're already kind of knowledgeable in this aspect. Let's talk about some free options because everybody loves free stuff. One quick, easy way is to use autofill, the search autofill function. This is a broad way to get those keywords. So I'm gonna use kind of this niche of a male nurse as an example. If we type in male nurse in Google, we already see that autofill kind of gives us some ideas. Okay, salary called uniform, not so much for POD, but we see male nurse gifts, okay? Or male nurse outfit, okay? So we have some broad ideas. Let's try the same thing in Etsy. Etsy also has a autofill function. So if I type in male nurse, this is looking a little bit more promising. We see male nurse gifts, tumbler wrap, badge reel, tumbler, jacket, t-shirt, hoodies. So this is kind of more related to print on demand, right? Autofill can give us a broad idea. Let's kind of zoom in on this a little bit more. We're gonna look at E-Rank, which is a free tool it is free, but you get limited searches. With the free version, you get like five searches in Keyword Explorer. With the basic package, it's like $6 a month and you can get 25 searches. So a day, this is a day. So you have some options here, even with the free version. We are gonna talk about the Keyword Explorer and we're gonna look at keyword lists. So Keyword Explorer. This tool helps us find how competitive or how much people are searching our specific term, but it's also gonna show us related search terms. Again, we're gonna use male nurse as our example. And so you see right here that we have a quota of five searches. I've already used one of them. But the first thing that we notice are these search bars, okay? We see the average number of searches, the average number of clicks, or the average click-through rate, as well as the competition. This is all for over the past year. In an ideal world, the perfect kind of keyword for us would be low competition in the green here and high searches. So right away we can see there's not much competition for male nurse, but there aren't that many searches for it either. If we scroll down a little bit, we'll see some other related searches. Okay, we see male nurse gifts, gift. We see ornament, male nurse shirt, badge reel, male nurse graduation gift. So we have a little bit more options. There is actually kind of a little cheat to see all of this information with the free version. So we're gonna create what's called a keyword list. And this list, it just keeps track of all of those searches or all of those terms that you've found. So you can use those later. You can sprinkle those in your product descriptions, titles, blogs, if you have anything. So the keywords that kind of spoke to me here, okay, male nurse gift. So I click this little star and you actually see down here, we have a shortcut to a keyword list. This keyword now was added to my list. I'm gonna click male nurse ornament. Let's do the shirt. We'll do the graduation gift. And we can say badge reel, okay? So now we can see here that our quota has been met for the keyword list, five out of five. Now, if we go here in our shortcut, if we click on view list, now we can actually see all of that information that was covered up in the keyword explorer for all of these keywords. So we can see here the average searches for all of the keywords that we chose, that we starred, the average clicks, and the average click-through rate, and the competition. We see here for all of the keywords that I chose, they have very low competition, which is very good. The search is not the best, okay? The highest one we have here is male nurse gift. So it's something you could consider. I probably wouldn't open up a shop just for male nurse gifts, but if you already have a niche of professionals or something like that, it might be worth something adding. One more thing I do wanna mention is long tail keywords versus just regular keywords. One or two words, that'll be just your regular short keyword. It's kind of a broad term. A long tail keyword, something like male nurse graduation gift, 
This targets those people who are a little bit further in their buying journey, right? They kind of know specifically what they're looking for and they might be ready to buy. Now, based on what we know, let's see what we can offer from our Printify catalog. So we're gonna think gifts here, right? Anything can work as a gift. If we click on catalog tab here, we can see all sorts of options. We saw t-shirts, they had some searches, but little competition for male nurses. Graduation gifts, so things maybe like cards, journals and notebooks. Mugs are really good because you don't have to know the person's size or anything like that, you can just give them a mug. Nurses, they also work incredibly long shifts, long hours, they're probably constantly drinking coffee, tea, whatever. So a personalized mug is a really nice gift. As we can see, there are a lot of great resources for you to start collecting some keywords. Have you heard what our fans have been saying? Have you heard what they've been saying about the competition? See what people are saying about your existing products and see what they're saying about your competition. Find inspiration in their feedback or see what's lacking. If you don't have any products yet, see what other brands that you're interested in are doing. And if you're not sure of an industry or a niche yet, then target a specific demographic and see what brands they're already buying. Looking at related products and similar ideas can help you expand your offering. You're big time players, okay? And you're really bringing us results. I love you guys. <laughs> Look for high profit margin products. These are items that typically cost less, but can bring in a higher return on investment. Things like leggings and canvases, but also check out the link in the description for even more options. We're gonna look at AOP leggings as an example. We're gonna search AOP leggings in Etsy here just to get an idea of how much people are selling these for. Right away, okay, we, we see a pair of leggings for $92. That's a huge profit margin, but let's see what else people are selling here for. $23, let's scroll down a little bit here. So we have a range, okay, these are youth leggings, but they're going for $17. So there's a huge range of prices that people are selling leggings for. So if you really have a great design, you can make a lot of profit off of these. Let's go into Printify and check out leggings. So again, in our catalog tab, it'll be probably under sportswear, right? Or if we wanna make things easy, we want all over print, we can click on the catalog tab. Here we see AOP clothing. Again, we'll see all the AOP options, we can scroll until we find some leggings or using the search function, we can simply type in leggings and see what comes up. So here we'll see yoga capri leggings. We've got spandex, spandex leggings. We have youth leggings, okay, plus size leggings, all sorts of casual leggings, high-waisted leggings. Let's look at the prices. These plus size leggings, for example, $22.39. If you sell these with a really great design, you could easily sell these for 50, 60, maybe $70. That's a huge profit, right? With Printify Premium, you can even buy these for less, $17.24. If you sell these for $60, that's almost a profit of $40. Okay, of course you have to consider fees and all that such, but it's a huge profit margin. Remember when pricing your products to also consider things like design fees, listing fees, and transaction fees. Look, anything can happen out there, all right? So are we ready? I can't hear you, huh? I can't hear you! I heard him. Always be ready and stay open-minded. You never know when inspiration might strike. Whether in a convo with your bestie or while browsing the bread aisle at the supermarket, be ready to take note and always be open to experimenting with different products and designs. After all, you don't have to buy anything in advance. It's game time. Now go ahead and pick those products and crush those like and subscribe buttons. You heard the coach and tune in next time for the 2024 product draft pick.